We're going to be doing a kettlebell workout, a beginner kettlebell workout with a twist. What if you don't have a kettlebell? What are you going to do? We got you. We're going to be setting you up right now. Here at the Happy Meal Diet, we completely understand what it's like when you first get started, or maybe you're trying to limit how much equipment you get. So we wanted to make this video to make life so much easier for you. If you like content like this, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and smash that notification bell so you can stand and know when we do videos like this that are informative and helpful and to the point. So let's get going. You're trying to figure out, hey, where do I start? You see the kettlebell workouts, there's lots of videos out there, but no one's breaking down. What if you don't have one? What if you're in a hotel room and you're limited on the equipment? And that's where we're thinking like, what is the best way we can figure out how to do this? And we have a solution for you. By the magic of video, voila, look what we have. We got this. This is a 10 pound dumbbell. Now I know some people are like, well, why does this matter and who cares? Not everybody's gonna have access to this, and by the way, it's a little difficult to pick these out because you need, there are some fundamentals that you need to be aware of whenever you get kettlebells. But the best thing to start with is a dumbbell because this is something that you're familiar with. This is also something that you can find in every single store. So no matter what, there's no excuse. That's what we're about, eliminating excuses. So this is a 10 pound dumbbell. Now, what you can do, since a kettlebell tends to have all of its weight towards the bottom where you can grab, you can literally take your fingers, do it like this, get your Star Trek on, and lock your fingers in just like this. Now, we're gonna start, I'm started seated just so you can kind of understand it, the fundamentals, because I'm gonna break this down for you. Because you need to understand you could really injure yourself. If you have lower back problems, you got upper back problems, hip problems, knee problems, you need to pay attention to this. And that's what this is about. Informing you, educating you, and making sure you don't have to go through a lot of pains and struggles that other people have been through. And one of the things that I see too many people doing is, they get involved, they're excited, they're energized, and they're doing these kettlebell workouts, two months into a things, the next thing you know, what happens, you never see them again. Why? Because of an injury. We need to start with the fundamentals of understanding how to use a kettlebell. So let's go.
you've got to be creative with things. And it's not about saying that, oh, I don't have this exact thing. It's like, what can I do so I can still go ahead and get the goal that I want? Because if those things that you don't have are a hindrance for you doing it, you're going to always have that as an excuse and as a reason. And that's why we wanted to let you know that you can get a similar workout, if not a better workout, by being creative and in the moment and making sure it works for you. Well, we want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. It's a beginner intro to understanding how to use kettlebells for a workout to make sure that you don't get injured so you can have more fun. And we can't wait to see you. And by the way, if you like videos like this, check out these other videos because it is just as informative, if not more sweat and less equipment.